In this video, we'll show how to look at the behavior of single variables in Insight. Our presentation starts after the dataset Census at School 500 has been imported. Regardless of whether we're in View Dataset mode or View Variables mode, we can look at a variable by dragging its name into the Variable 1 dropbox. First, I'll drag Height. A plot has appeared instantly. It's a dot plot of the heights of all of the students in this dataset. There's a box plot underneath it. These are the standard graphics provided for numeric variables. I'll now drag cell source, which is a categorical variable. Cell source tells us about the source of the money the students use to pay for their cell phone usage. Insight has given us a bar chart of the percentages of students falling into each category or group. We see, for example, that over 50% of these students got their cell phone usage money from a parent. Bar charts of percentages are the standard graphs provided for categorical variables. What you get instantly and by default from Insight is graphics. If you want information in numeric form, you have to ask for it. There are two buttons for this purpose, Get Summary and Get Inference. If we press Get Summary, we get summary information relevant to the graph currently being displayed. I'll do it now. We've been given a table containing the counts and percentages of students falling into each of the categories of cell source. We'll now drag right foot into the first slot. Right foot is a numeric variable, so again we've been given a dot plot and a box plot. Clicking on Get Summary, gives us basic summary information about the values of right foot. Clicking on Get Inference gives us inferential information such as confidence intervals relevant to the graph displayed in the graphics window. Variable names can also be selected using the drop downs instead of dragged. Here I'm selecting Get Lunch. Additionally, once I've clicked on the first box, I can use the up and down arrow keys to look at each variable in turn. Going up, going down, in the next movie we'll learn how to add a second variable.